Hey guys, it's uh, Karen from thefacepaintshop.com. There's been a lot of talk lately on Facebook about what's a good beginner kit. And I just wanted to show you what Tag has for their starter kit. And this is basically got all your essential colors in it. Red, yellow, a royal blue, orange, uh, medium green, purple, light blue, light green, pink, white, black, and a brown. Now, if it were up to me, I would also add a metallic pearl white, which is this one right here, because this color blends fabulously with everything. The other thing that I would add is this teal green next to it. Um, it just pops off of so many designs, um, that, and you don't get that color in the regular kit. Here it is, all ready to go. The other thing that I would add would be a glitter. You need to have a glitter. Any good holographic glitter. Don't get carried away with getting a whole bunch of different kinds of glitters. One glitter, a white holographic, is going to just do you fine. Add a spray bottle. Make sure that you have some way to get water onto your product. Um, make sure you have a neon rainbow cake. Neon cakes are a godsend. These things are fabulous. You use it with a sponge and you can create instant wow factor with the butterflies with a rainbow cake. I'm also showing you a few brushes down here. So we have um, a filbert. Just got right here. So it's kind of round. Um, a filbert is really great for making flower petals. Now the real workhorse of course is all your rounds. These are your rounds. I have a two, a four, and an eight here. Uh, rounds are great. They're your absolute workhorse. But if you're going to get into splits, which are these guys right here, this is a really great one to get into. You can um, use it to final out your butterflies if you're using that rainbow cake. The other ones, uh, this is really great for leaves if you're doing flowers. This is called Unicorn, and it makes fabulous unicorns. Every little girl loves this color. It's got the pink and the purple and the teal in it. This, for your boys, would be your dragons and your fire. Now, if you are going to do flowers, you have a couple of different options. These are them. The first one here is what's called Rose, and you can see it just has the pink and the white and the red. The next one here is called berry. It adds a purple to it, so it gives it a whole other dimension. But what I'm finding is actually the most popular recently is this one. This is called Stargazer, and it's white and magenta and a wine color. And it makes fabulous flowers and princess crowns. Now, if you are going to get into the split cakes, and I really recommend that you do, you're going to need a flat brush. So this is a three-quarter flat brush, and this is what I do most of my work in when I use a split cake. But they also come smaller. Okay, so this is a half an inch of flat, and if you're doing little tiny people, this might be the one that you want to get into. Past that, good beginner kits also have sponges. Some people have a real preference for different kinds of sponges. This is a tag sponge, um, as is the blue one here, and they're different densities. And But you can get those, or you can get other sponges as well. Uh, your baby wipes. You'll need your cards. And... A good mirror. Now, I suggest a unbreakable mirror. Doesn't mean they are, but um, it's a good place to start. Past that, um, this is a star blend, so it's a powder. So it's not an actually wet paint. They come in white and black and pink and blue. But what you want to start with probably is just the white and the black. The black is really good if you need to black out little boys' eyes for skull faces. They really don't like wet paint on their eyes. And so that would also be the reason why you would have a white star blend. Um, mine is starting to crumble there a little bit, but if Spider-Man eyes, that's the way to go. If you're going to get into the dry powder paint, this is what you're going to use. It's called a smoothie blender, and it's actually a foam tip instead of hair. And so this is the way this works. So it's a powder, and the boys don't mind it at all. Now, if you're ready to get on a little bit further, you'll want to look at metallics. We do have a couple of metallics back here. I've got a rose and a gold, and that is actually in the middle there is a metallic teal, which is a fabulous color, and underneath that is a metallic lilac. We have a silver and a metallic lime, and they're all fabulous colors. Those at thefacepaintshop.com go for $8.75 a piece, but you'll see just behind that, we actually have a whole entire palette. So you can 
get them all in one fell swoop. We have silver and gold and a purple, a green, blue, and rose. So you get them all together, and, and they're, they're in the 10 gram, so you can try them out. You don't have to go all the way to the 32 gram. But that is basically what you're going to find in a good beginner kit. Sponges, brushes, um, some good paint to begin with, glitter, some split cakes, sponges, baby wipes, and that should do it. Happy painting. If you have any questions, make sure to email me. We're at the team at facepaintshop.com. Thanks.